We just looked at an example where measuring coverage was useful in finding a bug in a piece of code. And what I want to show you now is another piece of code, and this will be a really quick example, where coverage is not particularly useful in spotting the bug. And so what I have here on the screen is a broken function whose job is to determine whether a number is prime. That is to say, it doesn't correctly do its job of determining whether the number is prime. So let's look at the logic in this function. So is prime takes a number. If the number is less than or equal to 1 or divisible by 2, then it's not prime. Now, once the number passes that test, what we're going to do is loop over every number between 3 and the square root of the number and check if the original input number divides evenly by that number. If it does, then of course we don't have a prime number. And if all of those tests fail to find a divisor, then we have a prime number. And so what you can see is there's a little bit of test code here that checks how this function responds for the numbers 1 through 5 and 20 through 24. And so what let's do is let's just run this code. This code has correctly computed that 1 is not prime, 2 is not prime, 3 is prime, 4 is not, but 5 is. Similarly, 20, 21, and 22 are not prime numbers. They all have divisors. 23 is prime and 24 is not. So for these 10 examples, the is prime function has successfully identified whether the input is prime or not. So now let's run the code coverage tool. Okay, so we got the same output. Now let's look at the results. So we can see out of the 20 statements in the file, all of them ran and none of them failed to be covered. Statement coverage gives us a perfect result for this particular code. And yet, as I said, it's wrong. Here we have the same code in the IDE. So let's run it. The output is what we expect. And what I'd like you to do is do two things. First of all, add at least one test case where you check a value for primeness and the code here returns the wrong result. And then second, create a new function, is prime 2 that fixes the error. That is to say, it correctly identifies for any natural number input, that is to say, any input, one or larger, whether it's prime or not.